Hi, I'm Aria from Vet and Pet, and this is some amazing, inspiring ideas for your slow feeders. So I have a wealth of doggy safe ingredients here. I have a bunch of products that you can buy from our website here to use. So I'm going to show you how to make some easy slow feeding and then also the next level up if you want to get extravagant and make some creative little beautiful art pieces for your dog to enjoy. I'll show you how to do that as well. I have a lot of stuff here. The base of a lot of what I use for my slow feeding enrichment toys is an air dried raw food. This one is the balanced life. So I don't like to add too much water so that it's really soupy because I like to have it to sit at a nice consistency so that it um, will be, go in nicely and not be too runny. So I give that a really good mix and set it aside to soak in and get all nice and yummy. So let's start with a licking mat. This one I will show you a good way to start with your dog with using one of these. So when you start using this kind of mat, it's good to only put something in the center. That way they're not going to try and chew at the edge to get at the food. They're going to start licking in the middle. So a good way to start with that would be to grab some tinned food like this beautiful Ziwi lamb recipe here. So I'm going to get some of this Ziwi and I'm going to pop it in the center here and mush it down into the middle. So just use the back of the spoon to mush it all in. So as a good starting point, you can give it to your dog just like that. This is really great for their first time using it and it's really easy for us to do as well. As they get more used to it and you make you know that they're not gonna chew it, then you can spread that all over the whole thing. But now I'm gonna get a little bit creative with this and do something a bit different. Okay, so then I'm gonna get a little bit of yogurt and I'm gonna spread that around the outside. So I like to just do like a few little dollops around like that. And then I use the back of my spoon again to just like spread that all over. And you don't have, don't worry if it's not perfect because as your dog licks at this, they're gonna spread it out as well. So it doesn't have to be perfectly in there. Your dog will do some of that work for you. And also don't use the yogurt that you're gonna use because this spoon's gonna get dog food on it. <laughs> have separate doggy things. I have doggy peanut butter and doggy yogurt. And then to top it all off, we'll put some grated veggies on there. So I've got some grated apple. I'm gonna put in like a little line down here. And then another little line of grated carrot. Maybe snap a green bean into there. And then the piece de resistance. I made these ice cubes. I literally just put water and broccoli and raspberries into the blender and then into an ice cube tray. So then to top it all off, I'm just gonna put some little love hearts on the top. I don't have any cherries, but I do have a raspberry to put on top. Hopefully this one is doggy approved. There is a lot of nutrition in this, but it is a, gonna go in the freezer and it will take him a long time to get through this so that is a lot of treats there and a lot of entertainment for him all right i'm gonna show you some creative ways to use the licky mat splash this is the one that has the suction cap on the back so you can suction cap this to the wall during bath time grooming time you can suction cap it to the floor your imagination is the limit so if you were wanting a really quick, easy way to pop this on for say a bath, you're about to give your dog a bath, you don't have a lot of time, that's fine. Spoonful of peanut butter, dollop it in there like that. And then again, use the back of your spoon and press it all around. You can spread it out quite thinly. Remember that a little bit goes a long way. We don't want our dogs to get too chubby. So peanut butter is quite high in fat. 
Also make sure that it's a dog safe peanut butter. That just like that will keep them going for long enough hopefully to give them a bath or to brush them. But you can also then use this as a slow feeder. To use this as a slow feeder, I have some Balanced Life air dried raw food here. So I've soaked it, so it's nice and mushy, but it's also got a nice consistency, so it's not too soupy. But if your dog likes it soupy, you can do it that way as well. This is just how Sage prefers to have his. So I'm gonna plop this in here, and then again, just using the back of my spoon to spread it out. It's like a lasagna, but for dogs with layers. So we've got his air dried food all in the middle there. Then I want to add some veggies just to make it a little bit special and decorative for him. And also because it's a healthy way to add some treats in there for him. So we'll pop a big chunk of broccoli and just push it down so it stays there like that. I'll pop some kale leaves in around here and in the middle put some grated carrot and some grated apple because that's just delicious a little raspberry and then some green beans and the other thing is that in his dinner I normally put his supplements in so if your dog's on any supplements you can also add them in and they make quite a pretty looking garnish so just sprinkle those on top like so And then I think that one is ready to go in the freezer as well. This little chili penguin here is really great for putting in the freezer. I'm going to show you how to do a diet friendly slow feeder. This is when it's not necessarily your dog's meal, but for whatever reason you want to give them a bit of a treat and something to keep them going, but they need to watch their waste. So freezer is great for this because we can mix in stuff with water and have it really diluted. So there's, flavor in there but there's also lots of water so it's going to keep them nice and hydrated in summer as well lots of applications for this so i'm actually just going to start by tipping some water into the middle of the penguin just like that then i'm going to put a little bit of his balanced life air dried raw into there just like one spoonful Pop that in there and just mix it a little bit. Then I can add some of the veggies and stuff. So carrot, for example, is a great one for anyone who is needing to watch their weight. And by anyone, I mean anyone, I guess. <laughs> so we can pop some carrot in there, some kale leaves, super nutritious for them as well. It's a nice, healthy snack. And again, just mixing it all in there. So it's still really watery, but there's some flavor and some texture and different smells in there for them. And you can also top this off by putting some treats that actually come and stick out of it. So I've got some C-Flex sticks here. So I'll pop one of them coming out that way and maybe a green bean i'll take that little whoop take the little top off it have a green bean coming out that way and now the chili penguin has arms so and then we pop him in the freezer like that so these sticks will freeze into it so they'll chew the top off it but then they're going to have to sort of chew around that and lick around it as they go so so this is a great low calorie option for any pups who are watching their waist and a great way to get hydrated on a hot summer's day. Now, Stoic the Dalmatian who works here. <coughs> oh, <laughs> Sage got excited then. He's like, Stoic where? Stoic has let us borrow his rough wear, not a cone. It's called not a cone because it looks like a pine cone, but it's not a pine cone. Isn't that cute? I love a good pun. 
if you feed your dog kibble, a really easy way to use this um, for slow feeding with kibble. If you're doing this at home, you can just scoop it into your kibble bag. But I didn't want to bring a giant gab, <laughs> a giant bag of kibble in here. So it's a little bit trickier to do it this way. So with the kibble in it, you can give it to your dog just like that. Uh, but you know me, I like to get a little bit fancy. So I'm going to show you how to plug up the holes. That's actually how I did this one. So if you look at the bottom of this, um, I've actually plugged it up using peanut butter and a carrot. So I'll show you how to do that. Make sure that you only plug one hole. You actually want to make sure that you leave some airspace in there because if it forms a vacuum, they can get their tongue stuck. So you don't want to do that. Um, but this has lots of open space in it. So um, that's uh, why I like to plug up that hole so it's easier to stuff and makes it fun. But then it's still got lots of airspace, so it's nice and safe. So the way I do that is with peanut butter. So I have my tablespoon of peanut butter there and I bop it in like that, smush over the hole. So then that forms a seal on the bottom there. This is really just the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with these. There is so many things you can do. I get obsessed with looking at pictures of these online and get having ideas. I swear I spend more time making my dog's dinner than my own. I love cooking, so it's a really fun way for me to show my love to my babies through making them like absolutely gorgeous enrichment toys. I had so much fun making this one in particular. Uh, I really wanted to, oh, it's melting a bit. I really wanted to figure out how people plug up the, the little hole at the front, how they put things over the top. And I actually found that I just sat the ice cube so the bottom of it sat in the, the little hole there. Um, but there's a lot of ways that you can do these. There's just, the, your imagination is the limit and get really creative with different treats and products as well. There's stuff that like, for example, we have dried pilchards and things that I think look fantastic coming out of these. And it's a fun way to add something different into your dog's uh, slow feeders for that extra level of enrichment it makes it really exciting smells for them. And don't forget how much dogs use all of their senses, but especially their nose. So something like this, where there is raspberry broccoli carrot kale there's a little bit of a supplement in there plus yogurt that's going to be really amazing for him it's going to just smell like a whole world opening up uh, i would love to see what you guys create please post up any pictures that you create and tag us we love to see that and i hope you have as much fun making these as we did mm -hmm.